Hey guys, it's Lauren. Today's video, we are somewhere different and very beautiful. I am in the middle of a beautiful resort in the Dominican Republic, guys. We are in the DR, and I want to take like beautiful vacation Instagram pictures right now. I want to do like natural, beachy, beautiful glam. We are on such a gorgeous beach. It's behind me. I'll show you it in a sec. And I want to spend like an hour to do like a beautiful, like natural vacation glam and put on like a very cute outfit and get some pretty pictures by the beach and stuff. But this is such a gorgeous resort. It's so beautiful. I might even get a little pina colada and sip on it while I transform. So I'm gonna try to do this in under an hour because I definitely want like my gorgeous vacation pictures but I'm not gonna like really cake it up or like do like full beat glam, you know what I mean? Like probably not gonna do too much on the eyes but like a beautiful sun-kissed glow and a very natural look that I could slay on the beach. My vision is to find like a plant with like flowers in it and then pick out the flowers and put them in my hair. I don't know how possible that's gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna find one of these plants but I have a vision going on and I'm gonna see what happens. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I recommend you do so. I post a lot of amazing videos in my humble opinion and also follow my Instagram so you can see these pictures that I post in my looks that I make on YouTube and follow my Twitter if you wanna hear what I gotta say. All right guys, let's start this tropical vacation transformation in under one hour. Do you think we could do it? Comment down below, let me know. Let's get it. We are in the hotel room right now. Let me show you guys what I packed and what I travel with. So I pack a lot. Um, I'm only here for like four days, but I wanted to make sure that I have everything because I feel like when I have everything when I travel, I feel more comfortable. I feel like less far away from home, if that makes any sense. Like I like traveling with the products that I love. Damn, I brought a lot of products, guys. And that's not even, that's not even all uh, You know what's so funny though? It's so humid here that I feel like when I do my makeup and it's gonna melt off, but it's fine. I just need my Instagram picture anyways. Alright, so let's start this look. I'm gonna go on with a new product that I'm now obsessed with. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. It's from First Aid Beauty. It's called the Ultra Repair Cannabis and Oat Dry Oil. This is what it looks like. So this is gonna banish stressed out skin. I just got off a flight. My first one was three hours and then we had like a three hour layover and then the next one was like four and a half hours. And planes are gross and my skin has just like been through it, okay? Uh, so this is gonna help with that. So this oil will help to de-stress and relieve and nourish even the most irritated, angry, or reactive skin. This is made with cannabis sativa seed oil and colloidal oatmeal, which together work beautifully and perfectly for your skin. Those two ingredients are really perfect for hydration. I'm gonna use this right now before my moisturizer to calm my skin, protect my skin, and keep it hydrated. And this little thing is packed with 16 cold pressed active botanicals so that my skin will look better. So you can do two or three drops. So I'm gonna do two and a half. This is a dry oil formula, which I love. So even though it's gonna go under my makeup, it's not gonna make me look greasy. It'll just make me look hydrated and healthy and refreshed. Ooh. So you can get this at Sephora and it's vegan, it's not tested on animals, it's cruelty free, all things that I really, really love. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna moisturize with the SkinCeuticals Daily Moisturizer. I just recently started using this moisturizer and I like it because it doesn't feel heavy and I'm always testing out new moisturizers, like seriously. It's like my favorite thing, testing out new skincare and seeing how I like everything. And this one has been my vibe recently um, because it doesn't feel heavy. I'm gonna do a little color correction under the eyes and here and here. All right, I'm realizing right now that I don't have a lot of sun left. This literally happens every time I film and I always get comments like, why are you always in a rush? Like, I swear you just need to give yourself more time. Um, well, I don't know, you know what? I feel like every time anyone does makeup is in a rush, like who ever feels like they just have the perfect amount of time to do their makeup because I honestly can't relate. So it is now 4 p.m. here in the DR and the sun sets at like six, but I'm trying to like have enough time to get these pretty pictures, you know what I mean? So let's get it. I'm gonna do this color corrector under my eyes. I like doing this under my foundation, especially when I'm doing more of like a natural look because since I'm not gonna go in with like a super heavy layer of foundation or a super heavy layer of concealer, I like to just be, you know, color corrected underneath. So this is from First Aid Beauty and See how it has like the greens and the pinks and the purples in there? Yo, I love see-through makeup bags. That's my new vibe. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna get a makeup bag again that's not see-through. 
seeing everything from the outside is really good when you're packing because you can like kind of tell what you packed. Look at how cute this is, guys. So now I travel with it, but it's called a Beauty Blender Defender, which I didn't even know about until recently. It was a gift for my birthday. And it's like a cage for your beauty blender. Like, are you kidding? That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so I just recently did a photo shoot at Milk Studios. I'll actually, let me put some other pictures inside. It was such a fun shoot. Like, I'm not very fond particularly of photo shoots because I don't know, I get like, I don't know, I don't love photo shoots, it's not like my thing. Like, I have friends that are like consistently DMing photographers on Instagram, like, let's shoot, let's shoot. And I'm just like, I always like get scared to go on shoots really because I don't know, I just, I feel awkward sometimes. Um, but I did a shoot at Milk Studios with this guy named Max who like works at Milk. And we just had so much fun. Like we were vibing the whole time, the pictures came out great. I don't know, I just get like weirded out when I'm like, oh shoot, like I'm just not that kind of girl. But we had so much fun and he showed me all these new milk products. So that like milk products are very like natural glam. So I packed a lot of them for this trip because it's not like very like heavy, which I really liked. So this is called the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint and it has SPF 30 in it. And it's not supposed to be like a foundation. It's more of like a little tint. When I was there for my photo shoot, they let me take a ton of product home. And I literally like raided their drawers. I took like all their stuff. And they were like, sure, take it. I'm like, oh my God, same thing with my New York trip, guys. When I went to New York, I went to this like place. I went to a couple places actually. And they were just like, take whatever you want. And they let me like pick through all their products. So I have a bunch of new products that I can try out and change up my makeup routine with and see what's good, which is like so fun. I just moved apartments recently and I think it was really underestimating how long it takes to set everything up. Like, oh yeah, you just move box to box and you kind of just put everything in its spot and you're good, you know, back to life as, as usual. And my life has felt so disastrous. Like I haven't been on my filming schedule as much as I would love to. Everything's just like not in place in the apartment. Like how long does it take you? to move, like start to finish. Let me know down below because I don't know if I'm being slow or if things just take time. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna do Tarte Shape Tape. The resort that I'm in right now is all inclusive, which is so nice. Like honestly, just being able to like walk up to the bar and get a drink and not have to pay and like eat and go to the buffet and not have to pay. Like, have you ever been to one of those like all inclusive resorts? It's, it's so nice. You just like live your life and eat and drink as you please without having to worry about swiping a card, dropping any cash. It's iconic and it's great. And you know what? I've been really good. Like I was a little bit, you know, apprehensive, like how good is my willpower? Like how much am I gonna eat? Am I gonna overeat? I'm using the milk makeup, uh, translucent light setting powder. Like, am I gonna eat a crazy amount of food? Am I gonna drink more than I would? Like if I had to pay for it. And I've been really good. Like I've been so chill. All right, I'm gonna use this powder contour from La Bella Donna. I'm gonna mix these two browns together. I'm gonna hurry because I'm not trying to lose the sun. Yo, especially for a vibe like today's, I'm kind of gonna put bronzer everywhere because I feel like vacation pictures, it's like the more bronze, the better. Today by the beach, I passed out tanning and I don't even know how long I was asleep for. Thank God I like layered so much sunscreen all over my body, but when I woke up, I felt so dead. So I'm gonna just put a lot of this bronzer everywhere. Like I'm gonna go all around the forehead, cheeks, I think I'm gonna even put some on my neck. Cute. This is the Kush Clear Eyebrow Gel from Milk and it's a clear eyebrow gel with no color in it and I'm gonna use it and try to make it look like it's all I use. But I'm actually gonna just a little bit fill it in with the MAC Lingering Shape and Shade Brow Tint. Just a bit, I'm not gonna put a ton of it. Okay, so I did that just to give a little bit of definition to the shape and now I'm gonna go in and use that clear brow gel and just kind of brush everything up and out and get those like fan eyebrows. I love that little look. I think it's so cute and I think it'll look really cute in the picture. Um, like, oh my God, I just talked out of bed. My eyebrows are so natural and untamed. Um, me puts like two products in them <laughs> and they're microbladed. <laughs> I'll give it a okay. I need to like really master how to do this because I think it looks so pretty in pictures, that feathered brow thing. Does that look good or does that look crazy? Please let me know down below. Can't tell if I went overboard or not. <laughs> okay, SOS. <laughs> Did I get it? Okay, so one of the new products I got in New York that I'm excited to play with is this Venus. I don't know how to read Roman numerals. Is that bad? Like the Venus XL 
Oh, 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 you're like, I don't know what that means, I'm sorry. By Lime Crime, and look at how pretty this, how it is, I'm excited to play around with it. Okay, so because we're gonna do like a vacation-y, pretty, like I'm trying to think of like what I wanna wear, I think I'm gonna do like a bikini, like something beautiful flowy on top, like we'll pick it out after this, but um, I think I'm gonna mix, let's see, these shiny colors, and I'm just gonna put them everywhere. Here's the thing with makeup, guys, I feel like it's really not that serious, like, I don't know. I feel like you just throw on the colors that are gonna look good and you put them together and that's that. Like, especially for vacation. So I'm gonna use this flat brush and I'm gonna spray it with some all nighter setting spray so that it's wet so that there's not a lot of fallout. And I'm gonna dip it into those really shiny, pretty colors and I'm just gonna put it kind of everywhere and see how that looks. I'm excited to play with this palette. I swear the whole flat brush technique with setting spray and just putting it all over the eyelid and blending it out is like the easiest way to do eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna take this brush and put it into Bloom right here. This looks cute, right? Bloom. And blend that out into the crease and everywhere. So I try to always put some pink or some blush in the eyeshadow look because I feel like it gives the eyes a life. That's cute, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna put the brown just a little bit. It's so easy to overdo this. quick and easy. I'm gonna smoke it out underneath with a brown mixed in with like an orangey color. Like this white, that pink, and do like the inner crease under the brow bone. Something really important for the tip of the nose is to not like use a brush like this. Like you cannot use one of these brushes and do the tip of your nose and do like a huge ball of glitter. I've tried it, just take my advice, like it's not good. You have to do like a dainty little like tiny dot and that's what's gonna work best. Like it's so tempting to wanna go in and like put a lot or like a big ball of highlight on there, but it actually makes your nose look rounder and it's not cute. So like a tiny little thingy, you blend it with your finger and that's how you get the little like nose effect. So that's a really pretty glow. I'm almost done with the makeup portion of this transformation. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil, which is another one of my new products that I got at Milk Studios when I shot there. And this is another one that you like pump out like that and then you roll it on, which I think is cool. And this I'm going to use as a highlight. I'm gonna put it on my highlight brush and this one looks pretty natural too. So I'm gonna pump it out. This will be like a super wet, glowy look in the photo, which I am so obsessed with. I honestly wonder how it will compete with like a powder highlight because this is like an oil, but look. Isn't that so cute? Off camera, I just put my eyelashes on. I use the Ardell Double Up ones. And let me put on a little bit of blush right quick. Just to give it a really sun-kissed look. I'm gonna do some on the nose, forehead, kind of everywhere. Okay, my makeup look is done. I'm gonna set it with a lot of setting spray so that First of all, stays because it's so humid outside, and second of all, so I look really glowy. Oh, I also put on the Sugar Honey Fresh Lip Balm, which looks really natural and really cute. I love how glowy this look looks. Like, it obviously looks like I'm wearing makeup, but it looks like a natural glam, right? So, my two options are this cover-up thing that I've been wearing right now just to get ready, which I would wear over this bathing suit top from Beach Bunny and this bottom, like just like a white cheeky bathing suit from White Fox. So that would be option number one, but I think I'm gonna go with option number two. I think I'm gonna wear this, the same white bottom with this cute white top, which I hope my boobs like will fit in because I'm about to get my period and my boobs are like triple the size that they normally are and it's really annoying because like nothing fits and they're just kind of like really out there, which really gets so annoying. I feel like I complain about this a lot, but it's annoying. Um, so I'm gonna wear this with this beautiful, silky cover robe thing from Lulu's. Yeah, I wanna wear it so bad, okay. Let me put this on and see how this looks. My outfit is on, my makeup is done, and look at how cute this looks, guys. I'm so obsessed with how this turned out. I'm gonna spray some product in my hair just because. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the Mario Badescu rose water all over my body just so I could get a cute little glow in all my photos. But let's go get a pina colada together, guys. Let me, let me spray something in my hair to give this some life. I'm gonna use the Garnier Whole Blends 5-in-1 Lightweight Spray. I 
I want to stick like flowers in my hair to make it look super beachy, you know what I mean? This is the finished look. All right, let's go. Just to give my body some shine, some money would ask you. Look at how beautiful this beach is, guys. I'm gonna take like a cute picture right now. I got this little flower that I put in my hair, which I thought was like a nice little touch, you know, vacation vibes, tropical. Look how beautiful the water is. There's no water that can compete with the water of the Caribbean. It's like the bluest and the warmest of them all. Okay, so I'm gonna get my Instagram pic right now. And then, uh, we're off. Oh, let me show you my pina colada that I got. Look how glowy this is in the sun. Vacation vibes. Okay, let me show you my pina colada. It's so cute. Like, is this not everything? All right, I think I'm gonna sit on that bench chair right there because uh, that's where the sun's sitting. So, and get me a gram. <laughs> I just dropped it. <laughs> Wait, I'm so sad. This just fell. Okay, this is so cute, right? Yeah, okay, nice. We love a prop. This is the final look guys. I look so glowy. I look vacationy. I look tropical and let me just show you a little bit of this resort guys It's so beautiful. Look at all the beautiful trees behind me um, But look at how gorgeous. There's just like a million trees everywhere. The beach is so beautiful. The water is so clear It's like stunning. But we have fully transformed. Thank you for hanging out with me while I transform This transformation was fun because it's a beachy beautiful glowy look and I'm obsessed with how it's turned out Let, let me know down below how you liked this look and um and let me know if you try any of the products that I showed because all the ones that I use today I'm really obsessed with like really really good Thank you for watching this video give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed Which by the way if you're not subscribed like what are you doing? I love you guys. Bye